Welcome back to the CUSA Showcase. I'm Stacey Earfley. Tulsa victorious at this year's men's soccer championship and are on their way to the NCAA tournament. In just one season, Tulsa men's soccer went from worst to first. Finishing last in the 2011 season, the Golden Hurricane restructured, resulting in a conference championship. You know, last year was a really, really difficult year for us. Um, certainly not accustomed to finishing in last place. And, and uh, we, we, we made so many changes, about as many changes as we could make from last year to this year. Tulsa earning the title after a convincing win over regular season champs SMU putting five goals past Conference USA's Player of the Year. You know, I challenge you guys to perform today's game is can we be better? You know, and, and that, that'll that be the challenge going forward. It's not so much our opponents or what we're doing, but can we be better each game out? We've been searching for that complete performance all year. We haven't quite gotten to it, you know. Put together really good halves or really good 60, 70 minutes, but I think today we finally found that full 90 minutes. With the win, Tulsa earning the automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. The Hurricane received a first round bye and will face the winner of the UCF Florida Gulf Coast match at the winner's home field. We played South Florida early in the year and they were a good squad but you know we felt like we could have done better against them so a bit of a redemption match for us there and uh, the other team Florida Gulf Coast is another great team so hopefully you know, we can just pull it through against them. We haven't had much film against, you know, what they've done or anything, so they're a little bit unknown to us, but overall, I think it's a really good matchup for us. We, you know, we're looking forward to anybody we get to play, and, and uh, I mean, at the end of the day, there's 150 other teams here that would want to be in our place still playing, and, and so we're going to take every game with, regardless of who we play, with, and, and, and put everything we got into it. Three other Conference USA teams will compete in the NCAA tournament. Kentucky is making their first appearance since 2003. They will host Xavier. UAB makes its second straight trip to the tournament. The Blazers will play at UNC Charlotte, and SMU will host Winthrop. All games to be played Thursday at 7 p.m. Well, keeping championships on the mind, Tulsa hosting this year's volleyball championship, kicking off this weekend and a full lineup on Friday in this loser go home tournament. And the schedule for round one kicking off with top seeded Tulsa facing SMU at noon, followed by the 4 5 matchup of UAB and UTEP at 2. Then it's the second seeded Rice taking on Houston at 5. And the final match of the day belongs to Marshall and UCF. You can watch all the live action on the Conference USA digital network. Championship game airing at 1 p.m. on the CBS Sports Network. Well, before these teams head to Tulsa, Conference USA announcing this year's All-Conference Awards. <laughs> Final Volleyball Players of the Week also being announced. Tulsa's Jessica Adams earns her fifth of the season and 14th for her career. Conference USA announces Players of the Week for November 12th. Final honors for the volleyball season go to Laura Durr of Marshall as the Offensive Player of the Week, the defensive title to Tulsa's Jessica Adams, and UCF's Marie Ryderova earns Setter of the Week. Laura Durr led CUSA for the week with a solid 6.17 kills per set and a .83 service ace per set as Marshall swept its final two opponents in regular season play. The victories over Tulane and UTEP kept the thundering herd hopes alive and secured the number six seed for the conference championship. Durr led Marshall with 22 kills and 26 points against UTEP. This is her first Player of the Week honor. This weekend, it was very special for us because it did seal us you know, our bid into the conference tournament. And to be able to get the stats that I did and 
everything like that. It's a great honor to be able to represent Marshall in the best way that I know how on the volleyball court and to be able to represent Marshall in Conference USA like that. But I have to owe it to this team and we worked really hard this season and it's the last week this season and I'm not going to lie, I was really nervous because it was do or die for us. But we came out firing on all cylinders and we just hope to transfer that into coming up into Tulsa. So. We just want the best this weekend. In Tulsa, CUSA regular season title clinching 3-1 win over Rice. Adams collected 25 digs and added three service aces. In the Hurricanes senior day sweep of Houston, Adams recorded 13 digs, which tied for the team lead. This is her fifth player of the week title this season and 14th for her career. Ryder Rova dished out 12.86 assists per set as UCF won both of its matches last weekend against UAB and Memphis. The sophomore averaged 45 assists per match and has topped 30 assists in 12 matches this season. This is her third setter of the week honor. To the hardwood for Conference USA's first basketball players and freshman of the week honor. First on the men's side, UCF's Isaiah Sykes earns player of the week while Tulsa's James Water wins the freshman title. Sykes was just two assists shy of a triple-double. The junior logged 26 points, 11 boards, and a career-high eight assists in the night's win at USF. Sykes also had two steals in the win, which was the first win for UCF over USF in Tampa since 1978. Well, it was awesome. It's always good to go in somebody else's building and get a road kill. So uh, it was a good uh, win for our program, and I think our freshmen did a great job. And to get them a win against a big team and as their first game, so it was, a, it was a good one. Woodard had the top offensive performance of anyone in the league with 28 points against LSU Shreveport. In the debut of head coach Danny Manning, the freshman shot 9 of 12 from the field, including 5 of 6 from three-point range. Woodard's 28 points is the most by a Tulsa freshman in 19 years. On the women's side, Christine Vitola of UTEP earns the player of the week, while Kayla Anderson of UAB gets the freshman award. Vitola earned her first double-double of her career with 21 points and 12 rebounds as the Miners opened their season with a win over Loyola Marymount. The senior connected on 10 of 11 free throws and 5 of 7 from the floor. This is her first weekly award honor of her career. In her Blazer debut, Anderson making an impact immediately, scoring 13 points in UAB's win over Austin Peay. Anderson chipped in seven first half points, shooting 71% from the field and 60% from the line. A full look at the weekend's calendar of events when we return.